Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back to do my week four check-in of my April monthly budget. I actually just took out my press-ons. Well, I took them off last night to just give me a little bit of a breather, but I'm really excited. I actually haven't seen my nails this healthy in quite some time, so I don't mind um, at all. But like I mentioned, today we're going to be weekly checking in for week four, which for me is from April 20th up until the 26th. This is how my weekly check-in spread has been looking all month long. And let me just get started. I'm pretty sure this is not going to be a long video or anything because um, as most of you know, there hasn't really been much going on. And that also has to do with spending. Although I did spend quite a bit of money, I would say, um, for eating out. Just because it was my mom's birthday on the 20th. So you guys will see that. I ended up paying for breakfast. Aside from that, everything has just been pretty chill. Haven't really been spending a lot of money. Especially not like out of the ordinary or anything. Haven't gone grocery shopping either because I did make a pretty big grocery run last week and like you guys know I have only been going like every two weeks so let's go ahead and get started so this is how my monthly view looks I have both of my budget expense trackers ready to lay down as well as I have my micro happy planner where it is that I keep all of my trackers for the different categories that I have. Typically, like I've mentioned before, these would be my cash envelopes, but I am no longer doing those for this month. So let me go ahead and get situated. The first expense that I had was on the 20th for my mom's birthday. Like I just mentioned, I ended up paying for norms and that ended up being $28. We didn't end up buying a ton of things or anything. So that was for breakfast on the 20th. Um, aside from that, for her birthday and for her cake, I had already counted it for the week prior and that came out of my birthday sinking fund, so don't have to really think about that. And then let's see, what's the next? I didn't spend any money for my cash envelopes up until the 25th. I think the main reason was because I've been so busy with orders and trying to get those out within the processing time. So on the 25th, my mom actually went out and got some fresas con crema. Oh, so good, guys. Um, we got them from a place called Carambas. And if you guys have ever had those strawberries with like the cream on top, oh, so so sinking good. I believe the cream that's on top of the strawberries is the cream they use for Bionico, which oh, also so good. So definitely was excited to have that after my class on Saturday. Then on Sunday, I ended up buying in and out This was my first time getting the protein style, which is essentially just the patty. Well, I got a Okay, I might have gotten something that I shouldn't have got, but I got a double-double, which means it has two meats and two cheeses, I think. But I got it wrapped in lettuce, which is what the protein style is. And I just thought that I just need to stop eating bread because your girl is getting a little chunky and I am not here for it. But yeah, that was on the 26th. And then another purchase that I made on the 26th was for Dashing Diva, which are the press-on nails or a couple of the press-on nails that I've been using and showing you guys here on my channel. I ended up picking up two sets, but I did have a $5 off coupon code because one of you guys did use my referral link. Thank you so much for that. If you guys would like to get $5 off of Dashing Diva, I will go ahead and leave a referral link down below and that just gives you $5 as well as it gives me $5 off my purchase. And that was pretty much all the expenses I had for last week. So now... Let me go ahead and get my no spend stickers. I actually didn't even put down my payday stickers. So I got paid on the 21st. I actually got paid from YouTube too, which um, I don't know if like your favorite creators have been talking about this, but the amount that everybody is getting paid for views is not as much as it once was just because ads are definitely going down. I mean, I never really expect a set amount because that is variable income. So it does change from month to month. But I, yeah, I just wanted to mention that really quick. I also have another no spend day on the 23rd. 
and on the 24th. I don't like to put no spend stickers on the days that I have bills. Actually, things have changed a lot because before I wouldn't put the no spend sticker there because um, it would typically be a credit card bill, but I did already pay that off. But I'm still not gonna put it because I mean my phone, I'm paying for it monthly, so let's just not. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And that means that I had three no spend days for this past week and now I am ready to weekly check-in. So now I do wanna mention this for any new followers because I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be a little bit confused, but um, I do like to group some of my categories together in order for them to all fit in one weekly check-in page. I am using the Deluxe Monthly Planner as my budget planner, which has five pages within each month. And as of now, I'm pretty limited with the space that I have because I do use every single one of those pages to set up different spreads, like my monthly budget one, my weekly check-in, variable income, sinking funds, and my debt tracker and debt payoff plan spread, which that will go right next to this hopefully sometime in the next two days. So that's the reason why I like to group some of my categories together and those would be food. So food are typically groceries and eating out. Then I have gas by itself, which I haven't pumped gas all month long. And then shopping would be my allowance and beauty cash envelopes. And then I do like to have a category for any unbudgeted expenses just in case something comes up because you never know. I feel like that was a little bit fast of an explanation, but let's take a look at all of our food stickers, which would be all the pink ones. So I have Norms for $20. Then I have Garambas for $13. And in and out for $15. So that is a total of $56. And let me just... Um, I actually like to use the fine tip. This is a... Um, dual tip marker by Eric Condren if you guys were wondering and let me check those off as I am going along so I spent $56 this week and last week I had remaining $157 so that means that I should still have $101 and this is the reason why I love to have a separate tracker for each one of my categories on the side just because I keep those with me all the time. So $96 of that food amount would be from groceries and the rest, which would be the $5, is from eating out. And that was after all of my three purchases. So I didn't, like I mentioned, spend anything for um, from my groceries category. So we're good there. Next we have gas. Like I mentioned, I haven't pumped gas all month long that would be the purple sticker let's see let's take a look at when the last time i actually pumped gas was okay so i haven't pumped gas since march 8th which okay guys it's about to be like two months since i haven't pumped gas how crazy is that i mean as as a whole i wasn't really even going out of my house because i work from home as you guys know but I definitely am not going anywhere now <laughs> and I wish I knew when we could be going out but I don't know as of now at least not here in California so next we have shopping which is all of my teal stickers and I only have one for Dashing Diva which was $14 so I'm also just gonna check off my phone bill I will go back and write out the amount because I don't have it right now so Dashing Diva was $14. So $14 for shopping. I can hear my mom sneezing. <laughs> and so last week we had $71 remaining. So let me take out $14 from that. That means that I should still have $57. So once again, gas. Haven't had... I don't even think I made a little tab for gas because I knew that I wasn't going to be spending money anytime soon. So the 57 would be $39 from Beauty and $18 from my allowance cash envelopes. And then last but not least, for any unbudgeted expenses, I like to mark those with a red expense tracker, but there's none. So that means that I haven't had any unbudgeted expenses this month. 
I haven't, like I mentioned, had many expenses, although I did have that um, small hiccup with my tuition, which there's so many things that I want to talk about with my whole interpretation courses because it's been crazy. So let me know if you guys want to see a video about that. I might just end up doing that anyways for anybody who's interested in kind of seeing how my journey is going with that. I also quickly just want to mention something that... Um, a couple of you guys have asked me if I'm going to make like, videos about it and how I'm budgeting it out, which is all about my stimulus check. And I'm sad to say, like very, very sad to say that I didn't receive the stimulus check. I don't think I make a video about this, but I didn't receive it. So I really can't budget something that I don't have. So yeah, just wanted to quickly say that and mention it for anybody who is curious about that. So that's going to conclude my weekly check-in part of this video. And now let me quickly bring you guys to my sinking funds page, which there hasn't been anything here. I do think though, I feel like I have like a couple of dollars left. No, I don't foresee anything else happening this month. The things that I had already thought about would be like my mom's birthday, which I already counted for, a bit of like um, clothing shopping, which I got, car insurance, my contacts. Yes, those are things that I had in mind and the main reason why I love having my sinking funds. I've been having these for a long time. Well, not all of these per se, but in the beginning of my sinking funds journey, I only had, I believe, like three. So definitely recommend to start sinking funds if you guys have not. And then the last part of this video would be checking in with my variable income spread, which I do plan on having a sticker haul pretty soon. And I was looking through all the stickers that I have and kind of looking back at what it was that I purchased in March and realized that I made a mistake. So let me talk to you guys about it because why not? So on the 23rd, I paid $31.60 from Sadie Stickers. She had a $2 Tuesday where she brought back so many of her customers' favorite $2 Tuesday stickers. So I ended up buying some of those for $31.60. Then that same day, Fox and Pip came back with a sale. So I did decide to pick a few things up, and that was $23.66. And then last but not least, I bought from my newest addiction. She was part of the PBC sale, I believe. I bought May and June monthly kits because I was like, oh my god, did I forget to buy my kit like in advance? And so I bought those because they were on sale. And then I realized, looking back at March, that I had already purchased those kits last month so i don't know where those are i think they they might have gotten lost in the mail so i made the mistake and bought two new may and june monthly kits because i really thought that i hadn't purchased them um so yeah that was my bad but with that being said that is pretty much all that i have for this weekly check-in video i really hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys did please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully i will get to see you guys on my next video bye guys